Hey friends, Brad Hussey here. Fun news coming from the email marketing world and ConvertKit is now becoming Kit. That's exciting. They did a rebrand many years back from ConvertKit to Seva. It had backlash, but <laughs> supposedly they're suckers for punishment and they're, they want to rebrand again. I'm okay with it. It's clean. And the whole idea is that they do more than just convert. They grow, they scale, they automate, they sell, they create. And so it's like a, it's a kit for creators. Um, part of me wondered if it should just be creator kit, but kit, I guess it's a three letter domain, three letter company name. That's pretty cool. They got kit.com exciting stuff. So you can read all about it here, but that's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because they actually have a free pricing plan called the newsletter plan. And it's $0 free, seriously, up to 10,000 subscribers. You get one basic visual automation, one email sequence, and one user with unlimited landing pages, opt-in forms, email broadcasts, audience tagging and segmentation. You can sell digital products, run paid newsletter subscriptions. Honestly, you get so much here that it's so exciting. And I wanted to show you how you can really get the most out of this free newsletter plan if you haven't switch to ConvertKit yet, or you want to start your email newsletter, but you're not ready to pay for it. And how do you really get the most out of it? Because at first glance, you might think it's a little bit limiting. You can do one automation and you, you can't add anything else, but I want to show you how I'm using this on a free newsletter that I'm helping to run to really milk the value out of it, to create unlimited or virtually unlimited variations of dynamic content. You know what? Let me just show you here. This is a blog called Bonita's Kitchen. It's actually my mom and she runs a YouTube channel. Uh, her and my dad run a YouTube channel and it's nearly a hundred thousand subscribers. And so it's a serious thing. And I have been helping run their email marketing stuff, uh, just essentially sending out broadcasts on a different platform, but I wanted to move them over to ConvertKit's free newsletter plan because we're running out of space. We've got 3,600 plus subscribers and most free newsletter plans don't let you have that many subscribers. And so what we're doing here is essentially we want to send a Sunday newsletter that lets the latest from Benita's kitchen. Now in the free newsletter plan, you can't actually use an RSS broadcast, which automatically sends the latest from an RSS feed. So if you're running a YouTube channel and you want to send your latest content, you can't do that. But I've found a workaround that lets you create pretty cool dynamic content and keeps your subscribers getting fresh content. And I don't know, let me just show you, let me just show you. So we have a couple opt-in forms here. We have a modal window, which captures about 0.3% of the conversion rate. So not very much, but the slide in gets 1.6% conversion rate and a lot of visitors, as you can see, I'm still working on improving that because I'd like to capture even more of those visitors. Now, if I were to go to the automate, you get one visual automation, which we've used here and I'm calling it the evergreen newsletter, but this is what's cool about it. So any form when you join, you're in the newsletter, or if I add the flag tag, add to newsletter. So manually, I add the people to the newsletter from the list who were there before you get into the newsletter, you get the evergreen sequence, but this is what's going on here. It's virtually just a dynamic newsletter, which creates dynamic content and displays a different email for every single person, every single time. There's only four emails in this sequence. So there's four Sundays worth, but at the end of the sequence, which goes here, boop, flag, add to newsletter, and you get added right back to the top. It removes the flag tag and adds you back into the evergreen sequence, which has this setting that lets you restart the sequence again from the beginning. So at the end of the sequence, you leave the sequence, you get added the flag tag, you go right back to the top, but because the newsletter template is set up to show a different variation of the content every single time, it's like getting new emails every single week. So there's only four emails here. So a month's worth of content, but it happens essentially forever unless we add to it or change it or pause it. And so here's what it looks like. So hello from Benita's kitchen. I'm using a liquid tag that basically shows today's date. And so that just the subject line will always be different and relevant. So it looks new and fresh. And here we've just got a little hello layout here, but on every email, that's actually a dynamic greeting. So every greeting is different. You can see it's different every time it changes. So that shows a different 
welcome greeting every single email. And it cycles through about six or seven different greetings. I'll show you how I did that in a minute. And then what we have is another card, which is just basically saying, hey, what's cooking this week? Check out our latest video. It goes to the latest video on YouTube or the latest, the videos tab, which shows all the videos and you'll see the latest video there. So that's my kind of catch all for now, but this is where it gets really fun. So we have a selection of our most watched videos. I have a liquid code here that basically goes through, I manually entered a whole bunch of the most watched videos right here in a list. It adds it to a variable. It does some liquid magic, and then it will show a curated list of five of those. So it'll just give me five random ones. And so it looks messy here on the editor, but it's actually, it's going to give me a different list every time. And in this part, it will cycle through five different links in that array of items that I displayed. So then each email is going to have a different list so that older videos are getting traffic. Everybody's watching the latest video. And maybe if you're finding it through searching for different recipes, you'll see people will organically find videos, but return subscribers aren't watching the past videos because they can't find them or they forget. So we want to make sure people are always going back to see different videos that maybe they didn't see before. Or they want to revisit. So I'm always cycling through our most watched videos here. Now, this is cool too. We have a playlist curated just for you. As you can see, I've got a lot of snippets here and they're all working very hard. So we got the dynamic playlist snippet, which was the one I just showed you. And it's looking through the one, two, three, playlist layouts. Now I, I could have optimized this more from a development programming standpoint. I didn't do this the most efficient, but that's beside the point. So we're showing this layout. We're showing another layout and we're showing another layout and it will randomly pick from those layouts and it will say playlist curated for you. And it will on the email show one of those three randomly. So that's showing this one. Let's try another one. Here's another layout and it's going, going to another one. And there's only three here. So it'll show one of the three, another one here. And then what we also have in another email is our dynamic greeting. We have our latest video, go watch our latest video. And then this part, fave recipe of the day, looking back at some of our latest recipes, I think you like this one. And it's another dynamic snippet, which pulls from our snippets of a whole bunch of our latest videos. So I just go ahead and manually add some of the latest videos. Each Sunday I can add to the layout and it will pull it in. I'll show you how that works here. So favorite recipe of the day, it's gonna pull one of them. And so it's gonna show this glazed pork roast, but maybe somebody else gets an email and they're gonna see something like the ambrosia salad or the slow cooked garlic bread. And I can go on and on. And so what's happening here is I'm pulling this snippet right here with a whole bunch of videos that I've manually added. And these are the latest videos. So there's a ton of them here and I can keep adding more to this list. And I'm just separating them by these hash marks because the code is looking for that and doing some magic so that it will display one of these recipes randomly. And I could just manually add, I could just copy, paste, put another one here. So anytime my mom puts a new video, I can put it in here. So there's always a way for the latest videos to be shown. And so, how that's getting pulled in is through this dynamic video snippet right here, which I uh, coded out. And basically it's just looking for that snippet and pulling in one of the random ones and basically building out a dynamic display here so that every email that's sent out is going to show one of those videos randomly. So each email is going to be custom and dynamically generated. We're going to have a different greeting, a different favorite recipe of the day, a different playlist. And all of these little pieces are dynamically generated. And then of course, I just have a static snippet here, which is the official cookbook. But what I can do is I can do a similar thing where I build out different offers. Maybe it's order the official cookbook and maybe a tip the chef, something cute like that, just to help monetize even more. And then I could cycle through that randomly. So every email shows a different thing. So the titles, the subject lines are dynamic. The content within the emails are dynamic. And furthermore, because of the dynamically generated content within it, each email is going to look different for every person. 
at the end of this sequence, it's gonna add you right back to the top of the newsletter and it's just gonna keep you going and going. Instead of me adding just like a whole bunch of emails to the end of that sequence, I could just add four, make it all dynamic and then cycle them through perpetually. So this is creating a dynamically generated email for every person only using the free plan where you have such limited functionality, but stretching the capabilities of what you could do. I usually offer this as a service called the done in one day convert get intensive, where I build out your entire email marketing system using the paid plan. So if you have subscribers of 2000, 5000, 10,000, and you're making a, a living off of your creator business, I offer that as a service. But now with convert kit becoming kit, I suppose the service will be called the done in one day kit intensive, which sounds nice for me. I'm also now experimenting with offering a intensive for the free newsletter plan where I can help you set up and build this out all for you based on a strategy call that we'll do. We'll go through and I'll figure out what you need and all the different pieces of content. I'll help you put all of it together and then I'll build out a dynamically generated evergreen newsletter sequence for you so that you can always be sending fresh, relevant, dynamic, unique emails to your subscribers every single week, every single month, whatever your cadence is. If you're interested in that, just send me a message. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the link down in the description and get in touch with me and book a quick call. Or if you're watching this in some other format, then uh, just send me a message and we can talk about it and see how it goes. All right. Hope this was interesting to you and we'll catch you in another one. Cheers.